Welcome back to Down Does Things. Inspired by a trip to the local thrift shop this week, I am making some home decor yarn art. Pick out a canvas to fit your space and then prep it using gesso. If you're feeling intimidated by using paint mediums, gesso is a great first step into it. All you need to do is paint it all over your canvas like a white primer paint. It'll make the canvas a little bit stiffer and make the paint stick to it better. After priming and letting it dry, pick out a color that will go with your yarn and paint your canvas. Make sure to paint all around the edges and get good even coverage. This color was made by using about 8 parts white to 2 parts yellow ochre to 1 part crimson paint. When your canvas has dried, gather your yarn. This specifically is wool tapestry yarn, which is a really nice textured yarn. I haven't tried to do this with synthetic yarns, but if you do and it works, let me know. You'll also need some clear drying glue and a small container. Work with small amounts of glue at a time so it doesn't dry out. Cut a length of yarn and dip it in the glue, making sure to coat it evenly. Take one end of the yarn and pull it through pinched fingers to remove the excess glue. I recommend keeping a damp cloth nearby to wipe the excess glue off your fingers as well. Begin winding your yarn around a central point to create a circle, or oval, or rectangle, or whichever shape you'd like. As you go, lightly push the yarn down to make sure it sticks to the canvas below. Keep your circle tight to avoid gaps in the layers. To get the size of this circle, I used a length of yarn that was about 2 feet long. Use something like the length of your arm to measure so you can have a guideline on how to adjust to make the circles bigger or smaller. You can always snip the end of the yarn off if your circle is getting too big. When you get to the end, tuck the tail tightly into the side. Keep making circles in various sizes using various colors of yarn. Since I thrifted this yarn, my color palette was chosen for me, but if you're stuck on picking colors, choose one base color like yellow, purple, blue, etc. and then go on Pinterest and search for that color plus color palette. You'll find tons of inspirations for colors that look really well together. Once you're happy with the coverage, clean off all the glue from your desk and let your piece dry. I left mine overnight or about 10 hours. Once dry, the colors will lighten up again and you'll have a really cool modern piece of 3D yarn art for your space. I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you next week.